Okay, so um, I think we should start. Um, I want to welcome everybody uh, to this uh, Alice workshop on geometric deep learning for medical image analysis. Um, I want to mention that this uh, session is recorded. So if you object to that and you're in screen, you have to probably mute and, uh, and reduce your video, remove your video. Um, yeah, so uh, this is um, um, an Alice workshop and I wanted to take the opportunity to quickly tell you something about Alice and hopefully encourage people to become member or fellow or start a program or start an Alice unit or something like that. Um, so the idea between uh, the European Lab for Learning and Intelligent Systems is basically to attract and enable the best minds in Europe and to give them opportunities and to create regional ecosystems around leading AI research centers um, and to bring Europe, Europe's leading AI hotspots um, together through, for instance, exchanges uh, between those hotspots. So there's three core pillars of the program that I'm going to say very, very briefly something about. First, the Alice Fellows program. Um, so the programs um, are um, basically centered around research themes and the people that are inside one of these programs are um, fellows and scholars of Alice. And so here we see in the order of 15 or so of these programs that are currently um, established and of course they are growing um, every year. And the current one is um, organized by geometric deep learning. Um, and now I hope I can still advance, yeah. Um, so here is uh, sort of, you see that uh, how the, where there are fellows, these are the dark green areas in Europe, where there are um, members, um, which is very easy to become a member in fact, um, but you, you, you go through a vetting process and on the website it's mentioned how to do it. And then there's also supporters. Um, as it, you see, we, we need some more people in the east of Europe, some more activity in the east of Europe, but uh, we just started, so we hope uh, that will happen soon. So one of the things is these, these Alice workshops. Uh, there have been already quite a few of these, and of course the current one that you're attending is an example of those. Um, we had an earlier one organized by us, which is the uh, Alice workshop on geometric and relational deep learning, um, but there's many other ones throughout Europe that are being organized. So let's jump to Alice sites. So there's um, 30 or so, um, or actually more these days, um, Alice units. Um, we have three in the Netherlands, I'm proud to say. You see Nijmegen has moved to Groningen, in fact. Oh, what happened here? Yeah, um, but that's because uh, there's too little space in the Netherlands uh, to put in three of these balls. Um, currently, this one is organized by the Alice units of Amsterdam, um, but I think to have 30 of these units is, is an interesting success. Um, most of the top research um, universities in computer science in Europe um, do have uh, an Alice unit. I'm pretty proud that for some reason the University of Amsterdam is actually on number five, which is, you know, very good, I think. Um, and then the last one, uh, we have the Alice PhD and postdoc program that I want to quickly say something about. So this is, uh, we just started it this year. It's sort of in a sort of beta testing phase uh, still. Um, but, um, you know, it's there to attract and support the excellent young researchers in machine learning. And uh, the most important part of that is to actually exchange students. So there's joint supervision within the Alice network with two fellows or one fellow and one member, but they need to be in different countries and it is a six month exchange um, to the other side. Um, so the first instance, uh, the first year that we run it, you know, we had a third, more than 1300 actually applications already and the sort of selection process is ongoing as we speak uh, with a very wide range of nationalities. So as we think the, as, as a first year, this is certainly a big success. And I wanted to quickly say there's also the ELISA network, which is tightly coupled to Alice, uh, which is a European grant, a European pro funded program. Um, and we organize very closely uh, with, with, uh, with ELISA. And here you see the distribution of sort of different members and, and, and sort of contributing nodes to this uh, ELISA network. And hopefully um, people can apply for funding um, within this network. So there's of course uh, people who work for Alice and here's the members of the board. You could contact with questions. 
and then there is Alice committees that are organized around selection of fellows, the uh, PC program, and the sites committee for the for the Alice units. So let me end by um, by saying something about. Um, unfortunately, this is in front of this, but uh, so uh, you know we have people like Margrethe Verstager actually um, support us um, and and um, and say nice things about Alice, um, and so it it is on the European radar screen, and uh, we hope that at some point this will also uh, translate into uh, additional funding for the for the network. So thank you very much. Um, so there is here is the current, you know, uh, sponsors and donors for the Alice um, for, for the Alice organization. And um, if you have or represent an organization that that would like to sponsor Alice, um, we hope you know contact me and uh, and we can talk more. So thank you very much. And uh, without further ado, I would like now to give the stage to Daniel Worrell.